Well, hello everyone. This is Al Fadi, and uh, what a special uh, live stream we have for you today, folks. It's uh, about an upcoming conference uh, that is done typically around the anniversary of September 11. It's known as our Strong Tower. But uh, with me here is just a flavor of the amazing speakers that you are going to uh, uh, experience during this conference. And also you're going to learn a tremendous uh, amount of knowledge and information from their uh, wealth of experience. But uh, before I do that, I just want to welcome everyone, of course, who is joining us. And I want to emphasize that everyone who is joining us right now, please make sure you share this promo with everyone in your network because we want the knowledge about this conference to be made available for everyone who is interested. And at the same time, I'm going to be posting some stuff either during the live stream or at least in the description box itself for uh, this conference. With that in mind, I want to welcome the, um, you know, the organizer, our dear brother, Pastor George Sayed. George, please uh, lead us into some information related to this conference, if you could. Uh, sure. Uh, sure. Uh, the reason we're doing this conference, uh, actually, we've been doing it for the last, uh, this is going to be the 20th uh, and, and, uh, annual conference for our Strong Tower. And uh, it is uh, a memory of September 11. Uh, the first time we did that, it was... Uh, uh, a year after uh, September 11, 2001. And uh, since then, we've been doing it uh, every year. We bring great speakers. Like uh, in the past, we had uh, Dr. Nabil Qureshi been part of this conference, Dr. Ani Sharosh and Dr. Bob Mori and many others uh, through the years uh, being part of this conference uh, where we our goal is uh, to focus in three areas, is evangelism, uh, how to evangelize Muslims with the gospel, uh, apologetics, how to respond to their arguments against, or their objections against Christianity. Uh, number three is uh, polemics, where we turn the table all around and we go after the teaching of Islam. Uh, and this year, we're going to do the same. Uh, we have amazing uh, lineup of speakers will be with us. We have uh, Dr. Uh, Eddie Delco, which is here with us right now, and uh, Dr. Jeff Cran. And also we having uh, 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 Reverend Anthony Rogers um, and also Dr. Uh, which Anthony just show up here. Uh, and also uh, we have uh, Reverend uh, Samuel Green from Australia. He will be joining us online. And uh, from Canada, we having uh, Dr. Tony Costa will be joining us online as well. But also we having uh, Dr. Jay Smith uh, with us. And it's going to be really awesome. And each one of these, these speakers are uh, just amazing uh, in how to defend the Christian faith and how to challenge the teaching of Islam. And every one of them are uh, not just teaching it because they learn it in books, but they also teach it because they do it themselves. They are reaching out to Muslims themselves. They have a, they debated Muslims themselves, and uh, they they're going to teach you from their own experience. And it's really, really um, our desire is to see more people being equipped and more people uh, to be ready to reach out to Muslims uh, locally or globally. Amen. That is awesome, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, and again, uh, I'm, I'm uh, uh, muting you folks, but uh, when I call on you, please uh, try to unmute yourself. So thank you again, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, uh, Anthony, uh, for um, uh, making time for us. I know you're busy, brother. But I want to ask questions uh, like, for instance, uh, Anthony um, uh, or uh, Dr. Delcor. Uh, there is one of the panel discussion topic has to do with Islam now and future. Uh, let me start with you, Dr. Del Delcor. Uh, what, does the, what do you mean by that? And what exactly is the substance of that topic? Of course, we want to give teasers to people. Definitely. I'm muted. Okay. Oh, am I still muted? At, um, Islam then and now. Um, I think the problem is sometimes people with Christians have a different methodology when they look at Islam then and Islam now. Um, in light of everything that's happening. But I know we're going to go through an exhaustive um, presentation on that issue and some of the nuts and bolts of the, the theology of that. But um, I would just say, dealing with Islam, um, I, I've seen do's and don'ts when folks deal with Islam. And one of the do's is I think people underestimate, um, they'll, they'll focus on polemics, which is good. They'll focus on refutation, which is good, but they have to know their own theology. 
because I was just at a group event and I, I was just witnessing just I was cringing. A lot of times when you go to group events and you have three or four Christians talking to uh, Muslims, you know, you don't want to hoard the conversations. One guy was speaking and I was just kind of cringing at the things he was saying to support his own doctrine, like on the Trinity, uh, equating it with, you know, body, soul and spirit of man and all these things. So I think Christians need to understand first, they need to be equipped with their own doctrine. They need to equip with to be knowledgeable in their own doctrine. Then when they do practice apologetics with with Muslims um, and polemics, they can be that much more effective because what happens if the Christian gets a question on basic doctrine and they don't know how to answer or they answer it in a, in a very foggy way, um, I think it does damage to the gospel. It really does. So I think Islam then, Islam now, I think the methodology should be the same. And, um, you know, I think, you know, first and foremost, my, my goal has always been to encourage Christians to be familiar with their own theology first, then their ap apologetics, then their polemics with Islam and other groups would be that much more effective. Amen. Amen. I agree with you. And many times you hear Muslims, especially these days, who are really open minded. They are willing to engage in a dialogue and discussions, but they're faced with the idea that not every Christian they talk to have the answers that they're looking for. But I don't, I mean, I, I want to be also a little bit fair and say, uh, you know, I don't think you mean that every single person have to have answer for every single question, but we need to be familiar with resources. We need Basically. to know where to go to find answers. We need to know uh, books or leaders that can uh, help us with that. So it's, it's okay if you don't have answers to everything, but I feel like it is really uh, sad if you don't even know any resources that can help that person. Oftentimes, maybe this is the only opportunity for that Muslim in this case, that God placed them in your life so that they can have an answer for something they're looking for. Um, Anthony, uh, would you like to add anything to this? Well, first of all, pardon my tardiness. I had to finish my spaghetti. <laughs> what, what is wrong with everybody's eating spaghetti today? I mean, I ate spaghetti too. So what? <laughs> I was eating too. It's National Spaghetti Day. <laughs> hey, we're, Ita we're Italian. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an Italian thing. Uh, so uh, to be serious, um, so first of all, to agree with Dr. Dalcor, one thing that we need to remember is certain things just aren't going to change. Christianity isn't going to change, shouldn't change. Of course, there are those whose theology mutates, but the Christian faith itself doesn't change because the scriptural revelation of God on which it's based and supposed to be based doesn't change. The gospel that we're bringing to men doesn't change. We always have to be proclaiming the life, death, burial, and resurrection of the second person of the Trinity for the salvation of sinners. So that's not going to change. However, there are things that are changing in the world. Uh, we see things changing over there in Afghanistan. Uh, you know, there are different pressing issues that may call for certain things to be our focus, maybe renewing some of our talks about Islam and the violent nature of Islam, some of the things that we may be lose sight of when things aren't boiling over, right? When, when Muslims are not behaving like Muhammad during his day, you know, there, there are some pockets of time when we see a relative uh, peace and uh, are quickly reminded that Islam is still Islam and it's, it's still at its root a violent religion. Uh, but there are also some very surprising and, and interesting developments that are taking place. And I myself am looking forward to uh, increasing my understanding of some of those things, such as w the sorts of things that uh, Dr. J. Smith is talking about, uh, the question of the history of Islam. I don't recommend that Christians put all their eggs in one basket and, and just focus on the denial of Muhammad's historicity. However, there is a lot of really good stuff coming out that leads us to question whether the Islamic sources can really be trusted to tell us about an actual historical figure named Muhammad, whether the events that are purported to have happened in the early history of Islam really happened. I think all of that is stuff that uh, is important for us to get a hold of. Uh, uh, Dr. Robert Spencer recently published a book that he actually... It's a edited and expanded version of a book that he had published a while back, which reflects additional uh, information that, that we have. And so uh, that's something that's going to be talked about at the conference. So these sorts of things, as, as uh, Pastor George mentioned, uh, we're, not, we're not telling you everything right now. 
but uh, these are the sorts of things that we're going to be looking at uh, when we when we think about Islam then and now and and uh, other lectures that will take place at the at the conference. Thank you, brother. Thank you again. If everyone is uh, tuning in right now, we are talking about an up upcoming conference that will take place in California uh, between September 10th and September 12th. It's called Our Strong Tower. Uh, this conference has been going on for many years now and has been organized by uh, Ministry to Muslims, led by our dear brother here, Pastor George Sayek. And we have just a taste and a flavor of uh, those amazing speakers and teachers that will be participating. There are others, of course, that couldn't join us today. Possibly uh, we'll do another promo next week, like, uh, for instance, Dr. Jay Smith, uh, uh, also uh, Dr. Cynthia Potros. Uh, we have Sister Hatoon and others who are listed on the website itself. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, George, what is the website, since you know by heart, for people to go to? It's ministry. To, which is to muslims.com ministry to muslims.com and uh, when you go there you're going to see the our strong tower banner in the home page you click that it take you to the entire schedule and topics um uh, each one of the speakers is going to be taking one subject and they're going to be expanding on that one subject in a different ways uh like uh for example uh uh, Anthony would be uh, his focus was is the concept of God in Islam and he will be giving a workshop and two lectures on this topic and uh, also uh, there's a panel discussion on this topic as well uh, Dr. Eddie Delcor his focus is the concept of God in Christianity and he will be giving also two lectures and a workshop uh, plus uh, discussion uh, he will be engaging in few uh, panel discussions as well. Uh, we have also with us here um, Dr. Jeff Cran, and Dr. Jeff Cran will be focusing on the, the Bible, uh, the trustworthiness of the Bible, and um, and he will be giving a workshop and uh, lectures in the topic, and also will be engaging in uh, some panel discussion on that. And uh, then we have Dr. Jay Smith will be focusing on the Quran itself and. Uh, uh, there's a lot of amazing things, according to him, that just uh, new material that came out, and he's going to be uh, talking about this stuff. Uh, it's, it's, I'm, I'm really excited. I believe there's amazing things going to be uh, new topics, and uh, and we're taking these topics from different angles. And and also we have with us uh, former Muslims from Sudan, from Tunisia, from Kuwait, and uh, they will be sharing testimonies, and uh, um, we will have them... Uh, uh, to be available as well for those that coming in person uh, to be able to uh, talk to them and uh, to talk to the speakers one on one as well. Um, but also during the breakup uh, sessions, we're going to have a few sessions where it's going on at the same time. Uh, for those joining us online, they will be able uh, to uh, also hear from Dr. Tony Costa and his focus. He has two lectures on the course of fiction. Um, but also on Sunday, uh, the last day, those online will be able to hear from Samuel Green and his focus will be the Hadith on um, uh, the transmission of the Hadith and uh, the trustworthiness of the Hadith and the importance of the Hadith uh, for Muslims and stuff like that. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited and we're hoping uh, we uh, Sister Hatun is supposed to be with us, but uh, so far the visas are not open for people to come from Britain to here. But if things change, uh, Lord willing, we'll, uh, we would love to see her with us as well. Amen. Amen. And thank you. Uh, that was a good segue, by the way, when we're talking about apologetics and polemics to Dr. Uh, uh, Jeff Cran. Uh, Dr. Cran, I want to ask you a question. Many, many times uh, Christians uh, attack, you know, uh, believe me, I'm one of those people that they attack sometimes about the idea of using polemics. Could you speak a little bit into that, uh, you know, and, and feel free to, to share what you think is appropriate. Obviously, I'm not here asking you to try to be on my side or their side. I want to hear, uh, you know, from your experience, the appropriate use of polemics and then give us a flavor of maybe something you are going to address in this conference. OK, uh, I think uh, polemics or polemics, depending on how you where you put the emphasis, um, is important because it's not only important to show that our worldview is winsome and holds together, but to demonstrate that there are holes in the other worldview and that it, it fails to obtain to the standard that it should obtain to. And so it, it's a twofold. It's, it's the beauty of our worldview, but it's also yours doesn't 
quite come up to snuff. There are problems here uh, that that you need to think through as to whether you want to hold to this or not. Um, my chief uh, section is going to be dealing with the reliability of the Bible. A lot of times Muslims will say that the Bible was corrupted. Do, do we have a uh, reason to consider the Old Testament, New Testament reliable, uh, not corrupted, that we have a legitimate copy of what God actually said? Uh, and that's going to be my focus. And then the other thing is I want to differentiate between progressive revelation and abrogation. Because we will acknowledge there are differences in some of the commands from the Old Testament that don't carry over into the new. Is that abrogation or not? Because Islam has something called abrogation and our progressive revelation is different than abrogation. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, a question to you, George, are these lectures going to be available for people who at least registered? Yes, uh, the people can uh, sign up uh, to uh, watch live online uh, or they can come in person to the conference in uh, Orange County, California. Uh, but also following the three days conference, September 10, 11 and 12, we're going to have an entire week of outreach. We will be reaching out to Afghanis uh, refugees uh, from Afghanistan, Muslims and uh, that uh, we've been engaging with them. They are so open to the gospel and many, many other Muslim communities in uh, Southern California. We're going to be engaging in conversations with them and uh, reaching out to them. We're going to be meeting. Uh, th the idea is uh, for those who really wanted to learn and uh, wanted to reach out to Muslims, we are not going to just teach you, but we can, all, we can also have that opportunity to participate in your first outreach and we can be with you during that outreach, the first outreach. Uh, I really encourage you, if you, you desire to start your own ministry or you desire to engage with Muslims, this is the opportunity to spend with us an entire week where we're not just teaching you, but we're going to take you and you put, you put that in action what you learn. Um, after the event, uh, for those that they have the opportunity also, if they are not available at that time, they can purchase the, the videos and they can, we, can, they can, we send them a download that they can watch it later if they want to as well. Um, now, for your friends, for the people that uh, love Al Fadi, and we give you 50% uh, off. Uh, there's uh, in, when you go and purchase the ticket in uh, Ticket Loop, we go through Ministry to Muslims. There's a link there to take you to Ticket uh, uh, Leap, where, where, where that website where they sell the tickets. And uh, when you go there, uh, there is a place where they ask you if you have a uh, uh, discount code and you click that and you just put Al Fadi, A L A capital, small L, uh, no space, Fadi, F A D I, uh, F capital, and the rest is small as well. The A and F uh, are capital and the rest is small and all connected together. And you will get 50% off. And this is available from today until September 3rd. If you sign up anytime before September 3rd, you will be able to get 50% uh, off. And we would love to have you. And uh, our desire to have it open for everybody, but uh, there's expenses and uh, flying and uh, hotels and uh, uh, car rentals and other stuff, and it would be a blessing to, and also some individuals, maybe they are not able to come, but they would like to sponsor someone. They would like to buy 10 tickets or 20 tickets and say, okay, we would like to see if anyone would like to use them. And uh, that's one way if you want to be able to bless other group or other people. Now, if a church anywhere across the country, they want to host the conference in their place, we will give them free of charge a link if they will bring their youth group or they bring their Bible study group to watch the entire uh, weekend with us, to join us from wherever they are. We will waive all the fees. We would love to see more people get equipped. Uh, no matter what church you are in, just call us. We will provide you the link free of charge, and you will host uh, the event in your state, in your city, uh, absolutely free of charge. Yeah, it's it's amazing, George. Thank you so much, brother. And I want to second what George mentioned. I mean, uh, we will be holding our conference in October, and ours doesn't go even to the extreme that uh, uh, George is is putting together and doing. What I, what I mean by extreme is like bringing people, taking care of hotels and things like that. And even in our case, there's a lot of expenses. So I can I can second what he's uh, talking about. And we encourage you folks, you know, to really consider this as a donation, as support for a ministry. And I even uh, would encourage you to go even 
above and beyond what is being asked simply because you are helping these amazing, amazing teachers, uh, you know, basically uh, perform and produce and give a uh, wealth of information that you're not going to find anywhere else. And I am one of those people that I would argue and say, you will not go to a single seminary and get all of this wealth in one location. I'm sorry to say it, but that's how it's going to be. Usually conferences like this, where you begin to experience wealth of information from different sources in few days and sometimes even few hours. So we encourage all of you to take up this offer. I will make sure that that code is posted on our Facebook page and in a description box for this promo, uh, which is Alfadi, capital A and capital F, one word, Alfadi. And hopefully you can, uh, everyone can sign up uh, before September, uh, you know, at the end of September 3rd, so that you are taking advantage of something like this that probably uh, won't happen all the time. So before we close this promo, is there anything else that any of you would like to highlight and emphasize to people why attending or watching this conference is going to be of benefit to them above and beyond what people might think is like, well, okay, I've seen a video before about this, or I know this channel, or we have people who are really uh, you know, faithful followers, you know, so you have Anthony's followers that don't like to come to Sierra because they just don't think they think Sierra is like a heretical channel. And, and Anthony, you know, is like uh, the father of all truth. You know, I mean, I'm saying like sometimes people uh, have this idea that, well, I, I'm getting fed already through one person, one, one channel. Why is it important for them to learn from multiple sources? Uh, so I'm, I'll let you each one, each one of you uh, answer that. We'll start with Anthony. Okay, so one thing I would say is it certainly is the case that we can get all sorts of things on the internet. It's a wonderful blessing. But one thing that it does when you get into a group in this sort of a setting is, number one, you're, you're getting a bunch of information, right? It's, it's intensive. It's sort of like, you know, anybody that's been to school, college or uh, seminary or what have you know the difference between learning information over the course of a semester and actually taking a modular or an intensive. The intensives are called intensives for a reason. They're intense. So you're going to get a lot of information at once. Two, you're getting a variety of speakers. Third, you don't always have ease of access to the speakers when you're listening to them online. Sometimes you can get your question in, but you know, a lot of times your question gets skipped over in a chat. You get to interact with people. You get to follow up when you ask a question and you hear their answer. You get to follow up and say, yeah, what about this? I mean, there's all sorts of things you can imagine uh, this provides that you can't get on the Internet. And so I'll leave it at that so that uh, others have something to add to. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Anthony. Uh, Dr. Delcor? Yeah, um, I, I think listening to a multifaceted or a variety of speakers, you're going to get um, information perhaps you haven't got from other other places and that's the beautiful thing of having a multifaceted conference from qualified speakers and you're going to get information not just information not just will not only will increase your knowledge of islam but in this particular conference where we are going to deal particularly jeff cran on deals dealing with the reliability of the bible which everybody attacks but also you're going to hear methods you're going to hear methods of evangelism you're going to hear um, I know I'm dealing with the concept of God. You're going to hear why it's bad to use analogies. You're going to hear tools. Uh, you're going to be equipped with different tools, how to reach out to Muslims and other people, other Unitarians um, that attack Christianity. So from apologetic polemic standpoint and from a reliability of the New Testament, particularly, uh, I think you're just going to get a wealth of different information surrounded by the same, uh, the same goal each one of us has. Thank you so much, um, Dr. Uh, 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 Jeff Cran. You know, we, we let beauty, t uh, I mean, uh, you know, it's like age before beauty. So we let age speak first and now we're turning to beauty. So you can, uh, you can speak. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> uh, I want to talk about perspective. You're not only getting information, but you're getting different perspectives on the same information. Uh, and each of the gentlemen that you're going to hear and the ones you're going to hear online have a particular passion in regards to reaching Muslims and particular experiences, and those experiences and that passion is going to flavor the information so that you're going to get a unique perspective even on it. And I think perspective can be important too. 
Amen. Amen. George, I'll let you close, brother. Okay. And uh, if you are coming from other states or locally from California that Friday uh, before the conference, you, you will be uh, uh, having this opportunity to come with us for an outreach while uh, Dr. J. Smith, uh, Anthony, and everybody going to be coming with us to the outreach and you will have an opportunity to see them in action. But also, uh, I, I do believe um, there there. There is some stuff that we cannot put online. Uh, uh, our world is changing. Uh, things, you see what's happening in Afghanistan, and I believe it's not going to be the same like before. I do believe there's uh, changes is being allowed to happen in purpose. It's being designed to happen, and I do believe it's going to be more important than ever before for us to be equipped to reach out to Muslims. I do believe that a lot of people start thinking, okay, we are done with Islam. Now we have to deal with socialism and other stuff. But I do believe we are not done with Islam. I do believe we're going to be facing a lot of challenges. And we, our ministry are doing a lot of amazing things. And we we want you to be part of that. We want to be able to share with you how we can partner with us. And things like that cannot be done online. It has to be in person. We would love to see you. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities in between sessions to talk to us. And uh, also we have a lot of resources. We have tables of tables are filled with books and material that is not available anywhere else but with us and we would love to have that available for you also gospel material that you can take back with you to reach out to your muslim friends free of charge uh we would love to have that uh, available for you but also we would like to connect with you uh during that weekend and in order for to show you the other so resources that are available for you for example we have weekly every sunday we have two of the best speakers. Every single Sunday, we have two speakers uh, equipping people. You can just log in and you can join us in person if you are local in Southern California or if you can, if you are other where else, you can just join us online uh, where it's a smaller setting where you have opportunity to ask questions every week where you can engage with the speakers. Uh, it's just awesome opportunity. And uh, thank you so much, Al-Fadi, for allowing us to be with you here, brother. And uh, it's just a what pleasure. An honor with you brother thank you to be honest with you george i mean uh, and i want to be frank and let everybody know george invited me twice already and unfortunately circumstances prevented me from uh joining but uh, i am i am so excited maybe maybe next year you'll you'll grace me and uh, and give me the opportunity to join but uh, I'm, I'm definitely honored uh you know uh, to to see these amazing uh, minds here and i really want to encourage everybody again to uh, go to the website ministry to to ministry to muslims plural.com and uh, in there you'll find information about uh, this conference i will ho uh, have a link to it as well in a description box we'll put the uh, discount code for you as well that will be valid until september 3rd and i'll make sure that you have it also uh, on our facebook page uh, we'll do whatever we can brother to uh, promote this for you and we appreciate you also, uh, your willingness to promote ours, which is Absolutely. a month after yours, obviously. But uh, hopefully some of your attendees uh, will consider also coming in. We have some of the familiar faces. Uh, we will have Anthony Rogers on a panel discussion. We're going to have uh, Jay Smith and a couple of others. We have different tracks uh, and, and we're taking a different approach. So people shouldn't feel like there is redundancy here. But all that to say is, is that, um, uh, you know, if anyone is listening to this, watching this, this is a promo for this upcoming conference called Our Strong Towers, Our Strong Tower. And that's uh, going to be held between September 10th to the 12th, at least in teachings and then another week of practical experience of outreach, including, uh, you know, reaching out to the uh, uh, recent Afghani refugees, which is an amazing opportunity for everybody to offer comfort to them and share the peace of Christ with them. Before I close, uh, uh, gentlemen, if you can just stay with me uh, uh, after the show, I want to just have a few minutes of chat. Other than that, I want to thank everyone for joining us. And maybe, maybe next week we'll have another promo, uh, George. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we, we can try it again. Thank you so much, everyone. This is Al-Fadi, over and out. God bless you.